When Monet returned from England in 1971, he began painting bright landscapes outside. He showed Poppyfield to the public at his first Impressionist exhibition. Now one of the world's most famous paintings, it conjures up the vibrant atmosphere of a stroll through the field on a summer day. Today you will create your own poppy field inspired by Monet. You'll need the following materials. White paper, markers, crayons, watercolors, paintbrush, and a cup of water. To begin, you'll want to get some green crayons and sketch out your field. We call this the horizon line. In the distance, you'll see the tree line. Yes, those trees are small, but that's because they're further away. Objects that are further away, we draw smaller, and objects in the foreground, we draw larger. This creates the illusion of depth. In the background, I'm gonna mark where my clouds are going to be. Notice how I'm not drawing big fluffy clouds? Clouds don't always look like that. Then I'm gonna begin to draw my poppies. I'm using both reds and oranges, but you can mix it up. Notice how I'm not drawing flower shapes either. I'm just drawing dots. Impressionist painters only captured the impression of it, not the fine details. So I'm not worried about drawing the petals. I wouldn't be able to see those from far away anyway. I'm gonna use some crayons to color in some of my areas. And I'm thinking about how Monet saw light change throughout the day. So the colors wouldn't always be the colors you'd expect. For example, when you look at a landscape, we always forget the color purple, but a lot of shadows show up as purples and blues. I'm going to avoid using black altogether. In the foreground, I'm drawing some grass too. My grass is largest because it's in the very front. I'm going to shade a few of my areas in. minute details before I begin painting. When you're ready to paint, I'm going to start with my darkest areas first. I usually work dark to light and then big to small. So that's why I'm doing my grass and my sky. And then lastly, I'll go do my poppies. Since my watercolor tray is white, I mixed white with purple to create my clouds. Nous étions quelques bons copains. Il y avait Fernand, il y avait Firmin, il y avait Francis et Sébastien. Now I'm going to allow my painting to dry before I fill the in-between spots. That way the red and the green don't mix. My painting has been sped up. But it actually took me quite a while for everything to dry and go back over it. The great thing about watercolors is, if you wait for it to dry, you can layer it and make things darker. Last details, I'm going to use markers. I can add some extra dots to create really far away poppies. And I can also add some details such as grass lines, highlight my trees, add some shadows in my fields and bring out some of the sky colors with the blue. When you're done, sign your name at the bottom and upload your to the school